Hi there, welcome to the walk around video of our 2018 Audi S5 convertible. This is one of our two Audi S5s in stock at the moment, this being the newer shape and the other one in stock being the slightly older generation. I'm just going to go around the outside of the car, go around the wheels and interior, and yeah, just play about with the car a bit. We'll start off here at this front wheel. All tyres have got a nice, nice amount of tread on them, wheels are all in really good condition. Looking down the side of the car, there's no dents or anything coming up. None on the bonnet either. Really good condition. Let's go around to this wheel here. And you've got your nice big six pop Audi Sport brakes there, which were a big change onto this generation of S5. Going down to the side of the car. Going to this rear wheel here. Again, nice and clean. And just getting an angle in from the car. We'll even put the roof down in a second as well. Coming around to the back of the car. Got this normal four pot exhaust system on an S, S model Audi and the big change was being the sequential indicators on this car and then we've got this rear wheel here okay now jump inside the car the mirrors will fold out when the car starts up big change over in this Audi generation is the interior which is really really smart looking you've got the virtual cockpit in there as well and then you've got your main infotainment screen up there and the gear sticks there, the roof controls, nice big sporty seats there and they also have a massage function down here which you can play about with. Decent space in the back considering it's a convertible and you've got the isofix points on the seat there. And then you've got your controls down here with a little bit of Alcantara on the door. Makes the car look really really smart. Got your boot release button there and then you've got your wing mirror controls and the window switches. Go ahead and start the car up. As you jump in the car, you've got your push to start button down here. So we'll shut the door now. Just turn the fan speed down. Main control unit over here, just where it connects to your phone and everything. Go through all the controls here. It's got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which you just plug in via a USB port on the car. Uh, we'll go through and play about with the screen up here. So you've got the navigation, nice big screen, up to date system, really works really well, nice and smooth. Obviously, you put in your navigation details where you're going, mobile phone prep, obviously, Bluetooth, radio, everything like that. Go into the car settings to find your drive select, which can also be controlled just down here as well, changing through. So obviously as you change the buttons, it changes the modes. It also tells you down there, as you can hear, the car goes into dynamic. When the revs go up, you can change the screen as per the buttons here to bring up what sort of things you want on there. So normally just leave it on the car settings. You can also change the view as well, so it can be centralised, or you can play about with it, anything like that. So many different settings you can have. You've got the light switch controls just over there as well. And yeah, really nice cockpit to be in. Nice open space. You've got your heated seat button down here. And the, the aircon controls have like a pre-sense button. So the screen stays like that. As you go to touch it, it'll come slightly bigger. Same again with the aircon or with the seat and where it goes to. All things like that, nice little touches. You've got your start stop button here, traction control. And then the button just to turn the screen off if you don't want that on when you're driving at night. Then you've got your gear selector down here. So as you put the car into drive, you press the button, knock it back. Obviously you can go into a manual mode and then you just press the button to go back into park. Knock yourself back across. And then you've got your handbrakes down there as well. There's all, the, all the electronic. And yeah, we'll uh, open the roof up now as well. Get a view of the car when it's open. Nice and smooth operation, everything goes as it should. And we'll see all the windows come up. You get a confirmation on the screen down there of the roof going down. And again, you get to hear the noise of this engine. It's a really nice sounding car with a turbo system now, not supercharged. videos of the car when it's running again 
really nice sounding car and again looks even better with the roof down perfect summer car and yeah there we are thank you for watching this video just get a last little look around the outside of the car